What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUp Essentials for iPad. So in today's video, we're going to talk about markup mode and how you can use it in order to hand draw and mark over top of your models in SketchUp, not only to leave notes, but also to create your own custom hand drawn textures. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so this is something that's contained only in the iPad version of SketchUp, not in any of the other versions. And so basically what this tool does is it gives you the ability to actually come in and mark up an object using your Apple Pencil or whatever stylus you're using. Um, so what this does is this is built on top of the iPad's markup mode. So what you want to do in order to access it is to click on the three dots right here, and then click on the markup right here. This is going to allow you to mark on top of your model. And so you can adjust the brushes that are in here. So notice how if I tap on the pen, for example, I can adjust both the opacity of the brush as well as the thickness of the brush. Then you can select colors over here. So if I click in here, for example, and I wanted like this blue color right here, um, I could select that using the dots right there. And so what this is going to do is this is going to allow me to actually draw on top of this object using the Apple Pencil. So let's say, for example, that I wanted like a railing up here, I could sketch that in this way. I could pick something else over here. And let's say I wanted this to be glass. I could just kind of draw something in like this, maybe a door down here, and I could make notes, right? So I could come in here and I could say, like if I wanted to do a window, make a note that says window right here. And so once you're done with this, what this is going to do, and notice how you can't really orbit around. You can draw with your finger, but you can't orbit. And you can use the eraser tool in order to erase things back out if you decide that you want to do that. But once you're done, you can click on the done button. And so notice what this does is this generates a scene right here that goes away if you orbit away from it. So if I look at this, right, um, I'm orbiting around and I can't really see this until I go into my scenes over here on the right hand side. And I click on this button right here and notice how when I do that, that's going to bring this back and it's going to place, um, it's going to bring our view back to the camera that we saved right here. And then it's going to overlay our markups on top of this like this. So this is something where you can make any number of notes. Let's say I wanted like a different view, for example. So let's say from this view, I wanted to mark this up. So I'm just going to rotate into the view that I want. And then over here, I could add some more notes like this and click on done. Well, notice how we have multiple different scenes in here that you can move back and forth between like this. And so say that you wanted to make a change to your markup. What you could do is when you're inside of this mode, right, and you click on markup mode, it's going to ask you if you want to create a new scene, if you want to add to the current, or if you want to edit the current markup. So if you do the edit, I could come in here and I could actually erase out what I'd created in here. So you can actually edit those markups if you decide that you want to do that. Then I can click on done. And notice how what that did when I edited that, edited that is it saved that as a new scene rather than changing that existing scene. So if you didn't want that old scene, you could just come in here and you could just trash it like this. And so this is cool, but I mean, it basically just feels like we're taking notes over top of our model, right? Okay, so let's say that we wanted to make this a little bit more permanent. So let's say we wanted to apply this to our surface right here. Well, what we can do is we can actually come in here and we're gonna have the select tool active. We're gonna select a surface. Well, when we select a surface and then click on the three dots for our markup scene, notice what that's going to do is that's going to give us a little marker right here. What the marker is going to do is it's going to take these markups and it's going to project them onto the surface as a texture. So if I click on this right here, notice what that did is that took that marker and it actually applied it to the surface right here. So you can use this not only to make notes, but also to generate hand-drawn textures and sketches and other things like that. And so let's say we were to jump over into our materials section and go into the user content manager. So something that we can use in order to download our materials into SketchUp. And we're going to look for brick and cladding. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the download button in order to input, import those into this model. And so let's say that I was to, whoops, we don't want to do that. Let's say that I was to select this surface and apply this brick material to that surface like this. So we've got a brick material in here, right? But I still want to mark this up. So if I come in here and let's say that we were to use the highlighter in this case 
and do something red like this. Right, it doesn't have to be perfect, but let's say we wanted to indicate something along this surface right here. And then we're gonna click on done. We're gonna go back into our scenes right here, right? Remember that we wanna select this surface, then we wanna click on the button right here to apply the markup. Well, notice how what that did is that applied the markup and actually because this didn't have full opacity, it actually gave us something I wasn't expecting, which is being able to see through the surface. But this actually took that markup and applied it on top of the texture material that we had in here. So not only can you make notes, not only can you hand draw textures and apply them to surfaces, you can also apply these markups on top of surfaces that already have materials applied to them. All right, so that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything we talked about. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.